So how do classical or traditional Chinese medical formulas actually work? I've established in another video that traditional Chinese medical herbalism is very, very different from Western herbalism in the sense that Chinese formulas are almost always formulas and not used as single herbs. And in addition to that, they're also very sophisticatedly done in the sense that the architecture of the formula is very important. Where there's a chief herb that has the main direction of the focus of the formula and then assistants and what are called deputy, other aspects to the formula. So they either offset the potential damage done by the formula in the case of using a very toxic herb like Fuzi aconite with Shengjiang, ginger, or with something else, or they just basically mitigate the effects or treat other parts of the symptoms going on. So I wanna quickly break down probably the most famous Chinese medical formula, Guizhutang, and show you a little bit about how each herb plays an integral role in putting together the whole formula. Hey guys, Alex Hein here, current doctoral student in classical or traditional Chinese medicine and author of the book Master of the Day. So in Guizhutang, for example, so there are five key herbs in Guizhutang. Guizhu, Xiaoyao, Shengjiang, Dazao, and Jigansao. Now, according to Bensky, this is how each herb works together to form the whole of Guizhutang. So the core herb, Guizhu, which is cinnamon, cinnamon twig, is considered acrid, so spicy and warm and it releases what's called wind cold from the muscle layer. It's combined with the second herb, Bai Shao, or Shaiao, which is peony, to strengthen the yin part of the body. So combined, they help the body expel anything that's caught. In other words, if you caught uh, a germ, for example, and it strengthens the body's inherent defenses. The third herb here, Shengjiang, which is ginger, fresh ginger, is called an assistant herb, and it helps the main herb not only treat any nausea and vomiting through warming the middle, so for example, a deficiency of the middle, like in the digestion, can often cause nausea, for example, or count what's called counterflow. So any kind of cough, nausea, vomiting is all counterflow, where qi is going up and not down, and it helps the qi or the energy of the body come back downward. Dazao, which is jujube, helps also harmonize the blood, and these overall assistants here, shengjiang, ginger, dazao, jujube, help overall help the spleen and what's considered the middle chi, or the, it's called the middle jiao, the middle section of the body here. And then the final herb, jigansao, is something that's said to harmonize actions of other ingredients. So gansao is in almost every Chinese formula, and it's one of the most famous herbs here. So in classical medical formulas, there's always that chief herb, the assistants, and the deputies, and even more layers sometimes, but they all have an overall direction which is the overall direction of the formula. And remember, the way herbs are used in Chinese medicine is that it's viewed almost in terms of physics. So for example, the stomach should be going down. If it's going up, that's counter to the stomach's nature, and that's nausea, burping, vomiting, and so on. If the bowels are going up, but they should be going down because you need to poop, that's considered a problem. And herbs that are used to help descend the function are what are typically put in formulas there. So it's important to think not in terms of biomedical active constituents, but instead of the flavor, the nature, and what direction an herb actually drives the energy of the body. So I hope that video helps elucidate a little bit about the way the classical formulas are put together and why they are in formulas. And not it's not just a hodgepodge of random ingredients, like a little bit of spicy, a little bit of sweet. It's much more sophisticated than that. And they've also been refined throughout history. And there are many that have stayed almost the same because they still work in their original architecture. So I hope that helps. The best way to stay in touch is to grab my free guide at alexhine.com forward slash free, which is how to add 10 years to your life with classical Chinese medicine. And you can watch my last two videos on the topic right here and right here.